There's arguably no better way for a little known player to make a name for themselves in the NBA with what little playing time they get than for them to perform vicious in-game dunks. Josh Howard inside to Evans. Typically, fans will overlook a player's failings, all the terrible random shot decisions, ill-timed passes, and unforced turnovers if that player can get everyone out of their seats cheering a couple of times a game with spectacular dunks. <laughs> However, fans can and will be much less forgiving if a player decides to play hero ball and goes for a vicious dunk at a crucial moment in a game when all their team needs is a simple basket, like what happened with Von Wafer. After being taken with the 39th pick in the 2005 draft by the Lakers, Wafer struggled to truly establish himself in the NBA. Snyder, and the facial. Wafer got the way. I feel sorry for Vaughn Wafer. Just inserted into the game, and Kirk Snyder decides to give him a facial. He says, Welcome to the game, Rook. Up, up, and boom. And the fans loved it. I kind of liked it myself. Wafer played for a number of NBA teams, never lasting more than a single season with any of them. Still, although he struggled to get minutes, he did make the most of his limited playing time he was given as he amassed a decent highlight reel. Set it up and get something good. Wafer! Oh! Unfortunately, although he had above average athleticism that saw him complete a number of impressive dunks, he's best remembered for one that he missed. Of course, even the greatest dunkers will miss every so often, but they typically don't celebrate afterwards, in overtime of a close game. For the 10-11 season, Wafer played for the Celtics, and in April 2011, the team played the Wizards. The game went into overtime, and with Boston out by just two, Wafer went for an unnecessary vicious dunk. 4-2 before losing in the championship to the Lakers in seven, a miss! On top of his missed dunk and his poorly timed celebration, Wafer also caused his teammate Jermaine O'Neal to turn over the ball. There's the miss, now he comes back in, watch him and run right into Jermaine, yeah. there's the traveling. Even worse is the fact that the Wizards would go on and win the game, thanks in part to Wafer's mistake. Additionally, the incident happened not long after Wafer had made headlines for all the wrong reasons, giving Celtics fans cause to question if they even wanted him on their team after he was involved in an altercation with teammate Delonte West back in October 2010. What, what, what happened? Both the UND had a fight. Yeah, I talked to Doc and Daniel. Later in December 2011, Wafer was traded to the Magic. Ultimately, although he'd later go on and play internationally, Wafer's NBA career would come to a close in May 2012 after Orlando waived him. So, in the end, despite multiple impressive in-game dunks to his name, Wafer is best remembered for a dunk he couldn't complete at the worst possible time. Back-to-back -back mistakes, mental errors by Wafer, missing the dunk and then coming in and distracting his teammate.